There are a lot of mini PCs available on the market, but choosing a wrong mini PC can waste your money and your valuable time. So be sure to get a little bit of information about the product before buying the product. In this video, I will show you the top six best mini PCs of 2024. After extensive research and testing, I've made this list. But the issue is that a mini PC might work great for one person, but might not be the best for you because most mini PCs are not made with the same people in mind, which is why I made sure to include options for all types of situations. So regardless of what you're looking for, I'll have the perfect mini PC for you. Links to all products mentioned in the video are in the description below, which are updated for the best prices. The products mentioned in this video are in no exact order, so be sure to stay tuned so you don't miss anything. First on my list is Apple Mac Mini, my choice for the best overall mini PC. Apple's Mac Mini is the most expensive model on this list by far, so you'd expect it to offer performance that outshines other tiny desktops, and it really does. Its benchmark results far exceeded the Windows-based models. It coped with 4K video editing with no issues whatsoever and exported my test project from Adobe Premiere in only seven minutes, less than half the time of any of the other models. Though gaming still isn't much of a thing on the Mac, it easily handled my sessions of the Elder Scrolls Online on high settings. But the most impressive aspect for me is the power draw. During web browsing, the Mac Mini used only around 8 watts of power and it averaged around 40 watts when exporting video. That's a significant amount less than every PC on this list, which will make the Mac Mini a more economical choice over time. Its one-piece aluminum body is attractive too, though it's frustrating that all the ports are hidden around the back with no quick access to any on the front. It's also not user upgradable. Still, those are arguably more minor concerns given the superb performance and low power usage the Mac Mini offers. Next on my list is Ace Magician AMR5, my choice for the best budget mini PC. With its upright form factor and tiny footprint, the AMR5 sits very comfortably on a small home office desk. Its two USB and one USB-C port on the front make it easy to plug in devices, while the magnetic side panel makes accessing internal components a breeze. Its older AMD Ryzen 5 chip allows for swift general office and web browsing tasks, and it runs lightweight games like Dredge without any issues. It scored low on our benchmark tests, however, and more demanding games like Elden Ring were sluggish and choppy, even on low settings. Though it handled image editing in Lightroom CC fine, 4K video editing in Adobe Premiere wasn't as smooth, but it exported my test project faster than others on this list. It typically drew around 40 watts of power during web browsing and general use, going up to about 50 watts during gaming and video exporting. It isn't a high-performance machine. It's best suited for those of you who need a small machine for home office and web browsing tasks. Next on my list is Ace Magician AM08 Pro, my choice for the best mini PC for students. The bigger brother to the AMR5, the AM08 Pro comes with a slightly larger body size and somewhat beefed up internal specs that include a higher powered AMD chip. It's little surprise then that it performed better on our benchmark tests and turned its hand to more demanding tasks too. Elden Ring played well enough for more casual gamers on low settings, so those of you looking to enjoy lighter titles on Steam will be perfectly well catered for here. It also handled 4K video editing in Premiere, allowing me to scrub through the timeline with little delay and export the project in a reasonable 25 minutes. Photo editing in Lightroom CC was fine as well. It typically drew around 30 to 40 watts of power during web browsing and up to 70 watts during more demanding gaming and video exporting. While the smaller AMR5 is suited only for lightweight home office tasks, the AM08 Pro is a better option for students wanting a more well-rounded PC for tackling assignments during the day and enjoying some games in the evening. 
Next on my list is GMK Tech Nuckbox K1, my choice for the smallest mini PC. Like the Geekom AS6, the Nuckbox K1 is essentially just a small square that's hardly exciting to look at. A silver and black colour scheme adds a bit of interest though, and the plastic lid easily pops off to allow access to the internal components. No screwdriver needed. As the smallest of all models on this list, it's exceptionally unobtrusive on your desk or mounted behind your monitor. It generally offered low performance on all our tests, from CPU benchmarks to gaming and video editing. It didn't handle Elden Ring on any quality settings, but casual gamers wanting light titles like Dredge or Unpacking will find it sufficient. It edited images in Adobe Lightroom without much hassle, but it noticeably struggled with my 4K project in Premiere and exported the video in a little over 35 minutes, the slowest of all models on this list. Its power draw was around 45 watts during web browsing and around 60 watts during video exporting. Thankfully, its price means its humble performance for gaming or multimedia production is perfectly acceptable. It's less than half the price of the Mac Mini, after all. Instead, this is a PC aimed more at office tasks, web browsing, or even as a media hub to connect to your TV. Next on my list is B-Link Essier 6 Pro 7735HS, my choice for the best mini PC for ultimate performance NUC from B-Link. Those looking for the fastest NUC might head to the new Intel NUC 13 Pro, but that assumption might be premature. The B-Link SER 6 Pro 7735HS, as the name infers, is built around the latest AMD Ryzen 7000 mobile technology and can match or better the latest Intel 13th Gen Silicon. The AMD Ryzen 7000 series processor in this tiny computer has eight cores and can process 16 threads, making it one of the most powerful small system platforms. Combined with 32 GB of DDR5-4800, a Gen 4 NVMe drive and a chipset that includes Thunderbolt, a 2, 5 GBE LAN port and Intel Wi-Fi 6 EAX2111 expect a very positive user experience. At the time of writing, there is only one SKU that comes with 32 GB of RAM and 512 GB of storage. However, these machines can be upgraded to 64 GB and at least 2 terabytes of storage through drop-in replacements. Dismantling the machine to add these upgrades could be easier, but it's something most users will only do once. Our only other complaint is that the single Thunderbolt port is on the front, whereas the rear might have been a better option for those with docking stations. The power and efficiency of this platform are distinctive, and we expect to see many NUC makers embrace this new silicon to deliver new high-performance options. B-Link got its machine out early, and this is now a no-brainer for anyone needing a NUC for demanding jobs less hardware might struggle with. It does all this for around $1.300 less than the Intel NUC 13 Pro, making it a bargain. And last on my list is Geekom AS6. Geekom's AS6 is the least visually appealing of the models we tested, being just a dull, plain black box. But that makes it an ideal mini PC for hiding away, perhaps on a nearby bookshelf or even mounting behind your monitor, tucked out of sight entirely. It's upgradable, but that requires unscrewing and removing the outer casing, rather than just simply popping off a cover like with the AMR5. It might be small, but it packs some decent specs, producing solid results on our benchmark tests and allowing Elden Ring to run smoothly enough at medium graphic settings. Harry Potter, Hogwarts Mystery played fine at recommended low settings too, and while I got a warning about incompatible hardware when I changed the settings to medium, the game still played well enough, at least for more casual players who aren't obsessing over frame rates and draw distances. Editing 4K video in Adobe Premiere was smooth, and the AS6 exported my test project in a little over 16 minutes, a long way behind the Mac Mini, but the fastest of all the Windows-based PCs on this list. 
Its power draw was around 60 watts while web browsing, which is higher than most others on this list, and went up to around 75 watts during more intense tasks like video exporting. The AS6 is one of the more expensive options on this list, but that extra cash does result in higher performance. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you liked this video. If this video was helpful to you, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this in the future. It's free. Let us know in the comments down below which best mini PC you're going to choose. If you have any questions related to the products we listed here, leave a comment below and I will get back to you as soon as I can.